Here's our cross-tabulated report with products in the columns, employees in the rows, and the intersection are total sales. And guess what? If we add new records to the bottom of our Excel table, it instantly updates. Add more data, and it keeps on updating. So in this video, we're going to see how to use the new beta functions, HStack and VStack, to help us create a single cell cross-tabulated report. Now, if you don't have the latest beta and you still want to create this single cell formula, if you have Microsoft 365, I have other videos about how to do this. But guess what? They're much more complicated than the HStack and VStack methods. Also, the big caveat anytime you create a report like this with formulas is that a formula report is much harder to create than a pivot table report. But if you need your solution to update instantly when source data changes, worksheet formulas are the only tool that can do that. Now, before we create our formula, I want you to notice something about this report. There's the first row, and that first row has a unique list of product names listed horizontally. Then at the beginning, it has the two field names we're going to use, employee and product, and total sales at the end. That's the first row. The second row is going to be the full inside part of the table. All of these are adding with two conditions, so that's the inside. Then on the left are the employee names, and on the right are the total sales just for employees. Then we have a third row, the word total sales, then the totals for the product listed horizontally, and then the grand total. So if we keep that in the back of our mind, first row, second row, third row, the formula will be much easier to create. Now let's go over to the sheet 1781. Now we're going to use the let function because we want to define variables within our formula. And we're going to build a new line for each section of our formula. So I'm going to use Alt-Enter to add a line. And the first thing we need is we need the three columns. So I'm going to name sales column SC. That's the name for comma, this variable, sales, comma, then employee column, comma. That's the name. Here's the column. Product column will be the name, product column the input. Now we type a comma. Those are all the columns. Alt-Enter. Now we want two field names, employee and product. Employee field name will be the name, comma. Then I simply click on that table cell with the employee name, comma, product field name, comma, and then the product field name, comma, Alt, Enter. Now we need a unique list of employees listed vertically, a unique list of products listed horizontally. So we'll call this employee list, comma, then use sort and unique. And we want the variable employee column, close, close, comma. Then we want a product list. And this has to be listed horizontally. So we have to transpose the sort unique of the product column, close, close, close on transpose. Now I actually want to look at each part of the formula as we create it. So now we type a comma. And as the calculation, I'm just going to put EL for employee list. And let's see what let delivers. So when I hit Enter, there's the employee list, F2. Let's try product list and Enter. Cool, products are listed horizontally in the top cell, F2. And we're going to backspace and Alt Enter. Now we want the first row. So first row, comma, and this is where we need to horizontally stack cells of content together. So H stack. Now remember, the very first thing in the first row has to be these two field names. So employee field name, and then we have to join it in double quotes, a slash, and join it to product field name. Now here's a cool trick. H stack can deliver one or more things horizontally. This is just one thing, but let's see what it delivers. First row will be what let delivers. 
close parentheses, and Enter. There we go, just the first part, F2. Now we come back inside of HStack. There it is, Array1, comma, and Array2 is the product list. Now let's Control Enter. Whoa, now we have the first element and a unique list of product names. F2, and then comma, Array3, we just type total sales. Hopefully I spelled it right. Control Enter, and there we go. There's the first row, F2. Now we backspace, Alt Enter. This will be the second row, comma, and we have to use HStack. And before we do the employee list, because that's really what should be in a, Array 1, let's do the middle part just to see if we can deliver that rectangular range of numbers. To do that, we use sum ifs. Sum range, that's the sales column, comma. Criteria range 1, that's the full employee column, comma. And then in criteria 1, we're going to give it the unique list of employees, which instructs sum ifs to get a total for each employee. Now when I type employee list, that's horizontal. That will help sum ifs know how many rows there are in the rectangular range it delivers. Comma, criteria range 2, that's the full product column, comma. And when we type PL, that's the horizontal unique list of products. That's the entry into the criteria 2 argument that helps sum ifs know how many columns there should be. Now, sum ifs will run an AND logical test and get the total amount, close parentheses on sum ifs, close on H stack, and let's comma. Second row, close parentheses, and when I hit Enter, that is amazing. Now in the top cell, F2. That's the middle part, so we come back into HStack and Array 1. That's Employee List, comma. Now let's see what it delivers, Enter. There it is, Employee Names and the AND logical test numbers, F2. Now very carefully, comma, to get to Array 3. And what do we want here? We want the totals just for the employees. So we use sum ifs, sum range is sales column, comma, then employee column, comma, and employee list. That's a vertical list of employee names. And so close on sum ifs. And now when I hit Enter, that is amazing. That's our second row, which is really the unique list of employees all the AND logical tests created sum totals, and then the totals just for the employees. In the top cell, F2. So backspace, Alt Enter. This is the third row, comma, H stack. We need the text total sales. Hopefully I spell it right. That's array one, comma. Array two, well, now we need the totals for the products. So sum ifs. Sum range is sales column, comma, the full product column, comma, and criteria one. If we put PL, remember that's a horizontal unique list. So the sum total for each product will be listed horizontally. Close parentheses. Let's just see what this delivers. Close on H stack, comma, we want let to deliver just the third row, and enter. Total sales. And those are the product totals. In the top cell, F2. Now, comma, array 3, well, we sum the full sales column. Close parentheses. Control Enter, the label, totals for product, and the grand overall total, F2. Now we backspace, Alt Enter, and here's where we're going to make our final calculation. Vertical stack. And what's the first item? Well, it's the first row, comma. Then we want the second row, comma. Then we want the third row. Close parentheses on vertical stack. Close on let. And that is what will be delivered by let. When I hit Enter, there's the full report. Now we want to test this formula by adding some new data to our table. I'm going to hide a bunch of rows, right click, hide. The data is still there, but it's hidden. Now, 
let's copy. And right below the table, when I control V, watch what happens up here. Instantly it updates. I add some more data, control C, paste below, control V, updating like magic. When I control Z, 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 it reverts back. Now, I'm not going to show you how to add conditional formatting in this video, but I highlighted the cells, and that's what I did. There's a link to a video I made that does show how to do conditional formatting for spilled arrays at the end. But when I click OK on that dialog box and copy some new data, bam, the report and the formatting updates. Add some more data. And it's updating the report and the formatting. Control Z a bunch of times. And that's a lot of fun with H stack, V stack. And remember the first row, second row, and third row. And you got yourself a single cell formula to create a cross tabulated report. All right, if you like that video, be sure to click that thumbs up, leave a comment, and subscribe because there's always lots more videos to come from Excel is Fun. All right, we'll see you next video.